Hey YouTube! Uh, sorry I've been away for a while, um, but I'm making a little video um, on my 40th birthday for you. Uh, I, well, I'm going to start it here and then I'm going to go out with some friends and take some footage with my um, GoPro knockoff at Le Baudoir, um in downtown Brooklyn, which is a Mary Antoinette themed cocktail bar. It's my favorite place um, in all of New York City and you'll see why. Um, I also ordered myself a ton of <laughs> a ton of birthday presents to make sure that I got things I really wanted and uh, many of them arrived today and I'm wearing one of them. Um, I ordered a bunch of uh, articles of clothing from Phantasmagoria. All of them are punk rave and this top which I think is new from them is so beautiful. Look at this. The back is open um, and it has like a, a lace tail. Um, it's just phenomenal. It's phenomenal. I don't think you can really see all the detail as usual. Lighting in here is terrible, but um, this is an extra small. The, this, the neck lace <laughs> is an actual, well, it's, it's attached, so you don't have to wear um, or buy additional jewelry to go with it, so super cool. So I'll come back later and um, talk about the rest of the stuff I ordered and things that aren't related to um, our president-elect Donald Trump, I hope, because that has really been bringing me down. Um, okay, see you in a bit. All right, so it's my birthday. Hi, that's my friend Leonora, hi. So we're at Le Boutoir and Evan um, is all dressed up. Hello, and um, some people are in the bathroom, and here's some more friends, and this is, um, this is the front room. We we're about to move, so I just wanted to capture some of the ambiance, and there's a, a bar up there, but anyway, okay. And, um, yeah. So as you could probably tell from that little clip, um, it was way too dark at the bar uh, last night to get quality footage. I did um, take a little bit more in the back room where they moved us, which is, it's a really cool space. It's underground and it's like um, remains of uh, a subway tunnel, I believe. And they left as much of it as they could, but they also decorated it um, in this Baroque style. So yeah, so back to talking about the presents I bought myself and some things that um, Evan bought me um, from Phantasmagoria, continuing on, um, I got this really cool top from Punk Rave that I had been wanting, or eyeing, I should say, um, for the longest time, and I just didn't get it um, for whatever reason. I thought it would be a little big on me. It's not. It, I mean, it's supposed to be oversized. It's like a tunic. It comes down to, uh, like, my upper mid um, thigh area. And it has these straps, and then it's sort of off the shoulder if you want it to be. Um, it has hooks at the bend of the arm, so you can lift up the very long bell sleeves. Um, I think they, they had a name for this. Hang on, I think they had names for everything. Um, let me see here, and Taz, I'll just, up by a partial. Nope. Um, mm -hmm, sorry. Well, that's going to take a second. So while my email tries to retrieve my uh, receipt, I will um, continue. Oh, with, okay, so with the description. Sorry. I have a migraine from, I guess, too many cute little cocktails. They look so innocent um, and they're tiny. They're tiny, but they're so potent. And my head has been hurting since I woke up, which also occurred um, way too early. There was a, somebody's alarm went off at 7 a.m., either below me or next door to me. And it just seared through all of the noise cancellation um, devices that I have and my earplugs. Um, so yeah, my head's killing me. It's so bad that it's um, 
not even manageable with Advil. <sighs> okay, so this top is, I thought it was just going to be like a long sleeve t-shirt. That's what it looked like in the picture. And they didn't really describe um, what it's made of. It's like a really soft material underneath. And then they have on top of it, this netting on the whole, the entire thing. It's not just portions. So it's really warm. It's, it's like wearing a sweatshirt. And I, I love the design. I think it says punk rave. Um, like if you lift up the netting, can you read that? All right. So anyway, um, back to trying to find <laughs> the name of this top. Um, I might just have to include it in the comments because let's see service. Yeah, I'm, I'm just going to include it in the comments if I can find it. Um, and, and, um, I got some pants, the best pants I've ever owned in my life. Um, also punk rave. Uh, and if I could back up far enough, you'd see they are high waisted. I haven't owned high waisted pants probably since I was in high school. <laughs> um, with a very fancy like frog closure at the top. Um, this is really detailed. Don't know if you can see that. Uh, there's a slight stretch. Um, there's a pattern on the material. So they're not just flat black with um, some fancy um, piping on the side. Um, they have pockets in the front here uh, that you don't really see unless your hand is in them. Um, and the back, they're, they're slim fit all the way down, okay? Um, and they, they fit me perfectly. This is the extra small. Um, I was a little concerned they might be too tight. Uh, they are very tight, but they, the stretch makes, makes everything work. This is super cool, and they make your butt look good because, like, I don't have much of a butt. So this goes all the way down um, from the mid-back, and um, they're, of course, very form-fitting, so there's my um, my butt, and the lacing is velvet. It's not ribbon, it's velvet. Um, so I'm really looking forward to wearing these with a crop top or something that I can tuck in. I don't know what that would be, um, but you've really got to show off the top portion. I mean, you can wear them with, I could wear it with this, but you know, it's kind of a waste. Um, all right, so that's the clothing that I ordered myself. I'm so happy with everything that I got. Um, I can't recommend these pants enough. It, they're just amazing. Um, and shipping was fast as always. I did use FedEx. Uh, it was less than a week from Lithuania. <laughs> I placed my order, I think last Saturday and it got here, or it might've been Friday afternoon, got here, um, No, it was Saturday. And it got here Friday, yesterday, late afternoon. And there was a holiday. We had Thanksgiving. Um, because this is America. And people give thanks by devouring more stuff than they possibly need. Um, okay. So, yeah. So, what else did I get? I had on my wish list um, on Amazon this necklace um, <laughs> the Ankh of the Dead uh, oh this is terrible I'm sorry it's it slipped out of its um, its sleeve the Ankh of the Dead necklace by Alchemy Gothic was on my Amazon wish list, and my brother ordered it for me for my birthday. Isn't that cool? Isn't that cool? It's huge. It's much bigger than I thought it would be. So, um, but I have no complaints about that. Um, it would be appropriate for a man or a woman, I think, based on its size. 
Um, it's not a dainty onk. So that was really cool. And what else, what else, what else? Uh, yes, okay, so I had been debating for weeks, maybe two weeks. <laughs> no, probably more than that. Um, what eyeshadow palette to buy myself out of the array that I have been looking at in YouTube reviews. Um, of course, Kat Von D has a ton of them. Um, some are still available, some are not. Some are available for an extremely high price. Um, and I heard online that um, the quality of Makeup Geek eyeshadows is exceptional. I've never ordered anything from there, from them, from her, I don't know. Um, and I like the idea of being able to customize it, but when I picked out the shadows I wanted and a palette for them to go in, that it was a travel palette, it was like $13, um, I realized that it was almost, it, with shipping, it came to 40 bucks. I was just getting four shadows. And then I saw that Lime Crime, the Venus and the Venus 2 palettes, contained all the colors I wanted and more. And if I got the bundle, it would only be $13 more, and this is 12 shadows. Wait, 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 no, it's 16. 16 for a few dollars more than the four, so not a hard decision to make. Plus, um, as an added bonus, this came the same day I ordered it, which is amazing. I don't know how Amazon does it. Same day shipping. So it yesterday I was like, hmm. Sad birthday, sad birthday, all day long. Though it was a great birthday, ultimately. But um, <laughs> during the day, I was a bit depressed. And um, before I went out with my friends. Uh, so, yeah. Um, I Originally, I thought, if I get this, I've got to decide between them. Not knowing there was a bundle. Um, and first, I thought the... I know there are a million reviews of this stuff online. and swatches, and I'm not a makeup artist. And you've probably seen this already. But, but just want to show you the perfection that this array of colors is and my computer is uh, making everything look a bit lighter than it is because of the the sun coming in through the window um, but this is the the original and then the um, Venus 2 which has which I'm wearing now so I'll talk about that in a second um, these colors are so fun I'm wearing this mostly. This is called Jam. And I'm wearing um, this one right here, which is mud uh, in my socket and uh, a little bit around the corners. And towards the, not the very inside corner, but um, I don't know if you can see this. Do you see the yellow? Okay, I've kind of got a rainbow effect going on. Um, the mustard, it's just called mustard. This is the most perfect mustard color. And if you have blue-green eyes like I do, this combination is electrifying. It's just, I mean, the mud shade, which is um, a rusty brown, because it has like that reddish quality, um, it complements, you know, on the color wheel, blue-green is most complemented by, uh, like, a red-orange. Is that right? That's right. <laughs> That's right. So it's super awesome, and especially for fall. And I just, um, I did line my eyes as well with, you can even see this, with a um, brown-black, really dark espresso brown pencil liner. And um, then I did a highlight up here and in the corners, um, not from this palette, though it does have one. Um, it's not exactly what I wanted. I used a, a white uh, pearlescent color from NYX, um, but any kind of sh like champagne I think would be good. A champagne sparkly um, or satin finish. So yeah, 
Uh, that was really fun to play with this morning, despite my headache. And actually, there's a highlight color in the other palette that would probably be good called Aura. It's um, it is a champagne. It's um, that one right there. Okay. So, and I'm not gonna do a tutorial. Um, I think that would be extremely boring for me and for you, and there are plenty of those out there, but just, you know, uh, those are the colors I used, and, you know, you can pretty much see how to apply it just by looking, so. Um, what else do I have? I have more things, I have more things. <laughs> um, Evan got me from Gothic Renaissance, though um, we found that she has an Etsy shop as well, from Liquid Nymph. Um, this, these, uh, s and m cuffs bondage <laughs> cuffs with aren't they cool they're patent leather they are not cheap <laughs> um with the o-rings we've got these are still um attached with a string but um you see there's the the ring and they fasten with snaps though so it's it looks like if you go to her etsy shop you can send her your measurements and she'll like custom make um, custom make them in the right size uh, or you can just order the small or the medium if your wrist fits so we have a little problem here because my wrists are five inches and two millimeters they're tiny tiny and these things are made for someone with five and a half to six point seven five inch wrists um, so they're very loose if you fasten them with they have two snaps you see so if you fasten it like that so that it looks right, um, they're way too loose. And then when I just put it on one snap, you've got like this massive, they're really tight. And then they have like the, the flap sticking out. Um, I don't know if I can do this myself, but anyway. So we're trying to decide what to do. Uh, Gothic Renaissance in New York City um, doesn't, uh, all sales are final apparently, or at least on these. So um, either going to like pad the insides so that they stay put or just deal with the flap hanging out from underneath. Um, okay, so those are fun. Um, let's try to make that work. And um, also from Gothic Renaissance, I have, the tags are still on everything. Um, some fun little witch gloves. Aren't those cool? See, they say witch, they say witch. Um, they're really, really fun. You can never have too many gloves in New York City. Um, okay, sorry I've been a little bit out of it as I've been trying to talk coherently. Um, but, uh, I guess that's it. Um, if you celebrated Thanksgiving, I hope you had a great one. Um, yeah, I am not going to talk about my Thanksgiving, though it was very nice. It was very nice. Lots of vegetables. Um, Traveling on the Long Island Railroad on a holiday is murder. It's, it's hell. <laughs> it's absolute hell. Um, and yeah, so I'll try to forget about that and not put you through it either. All right, so that's it. Uh, see you next time. Um, feel free to let me know what you'd like me to do in my next video in the comments. Um, I am going to try to get some sort of light to affix to my um, my SJ4000 camera so that I can take it out and collect footage in the dark because this is an ongoing problem. I think that I'm getting, I th when I look through the camera, everything looks um, moderately illuminated and I figure that's what the camera's capturing and it's not at all. All I can see are shadows and silhouettes, so. Hopefully I can do better soon. All right, bye-bye.